So you guys, I know we just had an episode, but as you can see, it has updated. We are now in 1.1, and oh my goodness, it sounds amazing. There have been changes. Oh my gosh. Apparently, if you have kittens, you can go adventuring with them, so I thought we'd try and speed things up. We'll be going back to daily episodes with Dusty and uh, for as long as we can at least and trying to get that done. Keep in mind that all these episodes will be pre-recorded. You can certainly offer advice in the comments, but... Please remember that I won't be able to follow it right away. It might be a little while. And if somebody's already said it, please don't say it again. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry. I just got about a thousand comments last time, not literally telling me the same thing last time I tried to pre-record. So please keep that in mind. Uh, be a little bit considerate with that. <laughs> if somebody's already said it, I will see it. I do read all my comments. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and chat with Scout and see, hey love, how's my Dusty holding up today? Rivers are starting to freeze over. Soon we won't have to rely on the river span to head out east for a couple months. Oh, that's true. It is almost winter. In fact, in a little bit here, we are actually going to... Okay, let's give her a rabbit as well. But we're actually going to um, to have the, the festival and we're going to sleep through the night. We're gonna get, we gave her her rabbit here. We're going to go hunt some more a little bit, but we'll sleep through the night pretty soon here. Oh, she appears outside. Hi, Scout. <laughs> Hi again. She must have followed us. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and hunt a little bit here. And let's see. Oh, there's something down here. I want to see if I can catch any more rabbits. We might not actually get to give Scout a rabbit tomorrow because it is the festival. But for now, uh, we're gonna go ahead. Here's the fallen giant. And just see if we can do a little hunting before uh, time is, or before it's time to go to sleep. Uh, I think 5 p.m. is the cutoff. Um, for when you can sleep to the next day, although that would give us qu that would give us quite a bit of time in the morning, uh, while everybody else would go prepare for the festival. And I don't think we've ever seen the autumn festival. That's gonna be a new one, and uh, it'll be really neat to see. Um, oh, please don't spook! No, we missed it. Um, okay, let's head back. It'll be really neat to see what the Autumn Festival is all about, because I don't know a lot of these things yet. Uh, but we're going to continue to have a lot of episodes. Hi, Sarge. Uh, every day now, or we're going to be having episodes with Dusty every day now, because I really want to expedite having kittens so that we can explore some of the new features. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to go to sleep. Uh, sleep through the night. It should be the festival, right? I think today is the Autumn Festival. I should head to the Sacred Temple and join in the fun. All right, so I believe it starts at 11 a.m., so we'll have some time to do some hunting on the way. And we'll see here. We've got a, a really um, empty inventory. So let's head out and do some hunting. It is only 6 in the morning, but everybody, I think, is probably already headed to the festival. So we're going to do some hunting along the way before, um, before it's time to go and to make sure we get that in. I think that's a dove or a white, one of the white mice, the field mice, I believe. Nope, this one is a dove, okay. Let's see if we can catch it. No, we missed it. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna run that way. There's something up here, though. This is a mouse. And we got that. There's another mouse, it seems. And we did not get that one, but there's another mouse. We can try and get that one. Except he's gonna walk off screen, okay. There's something down here. I think that's an herb. All right, we're, oh, yep, it's a uh, valerian. And we're gonna come this way. And here we go. We're gonna get the dove. This'll earn us some nice muse. We need to earn a few more muse as well uh, in order to be able to upgrade our den again, which we're also gonna work on. And I do want to say something. I have gotten a lot of requests asking me to stream cattails. I kind of have gone back and forth over that. I haven't done a live stream on this channel in a long time, and I would like to at some point. But I'm not sure cattails is a very good format for it. And in a lot of cases, I try not to live stream on existing series. Because when you live stream on an existing series... It, if people miss the live stream, then they have one huge episode to watch. It just is a little bit... It feels a, a little bit, um... I don't know. Normally when I live stream, I like to have a specific set of uh, characters for that live stream. So like our Wolf Quest Wolves, we always did the side stories 
or well, if we do niche, usually we would do uh, its own survivor. I think the only time I streamed niche once was when we were doing a lot of breeding that I was going to do off camera otherwise. And uh, cattails, I don't really play off camera at all. So I don't know if I'll be doing a live stream. If I ever do live stream cattails, I will probably pick a, a special cat. I will probably create a special cat specifically for the live stream. And uh, any live streams that we do in cattails would center on that cat. So we might do that at some point in the future, but I don't think we're going to live stream with Dusty just because I do enjoy seeing how much time passes. Um, and I do enjoy spending that time with you. Let's catch this dove, and then we're gonna head to the festival, which is this way. I'm pretty sure. Yes, the woodland corner is here. And I believe... Yeah, it's, it's just too over. Okay. So, here we go. We're gonna keep heading this way. And across the river span, which, uh, it soon will freeze over. Uh, but for now, this is the main means of getting across. And let's go here. All right, so we... Oh, it's all pumpkin-y! All right, let's chat with everyone because they seem to have different things to say. This, the blackberry bushes are starting to wither. That means there's not too much longer to gather golden steel for the winter. That is a very important point. In fact, I think we're probably going to be done with golden steel for now. Let's chat with Leo. Perhaps we should spend less time playing games and more time discussing the territorial power shifts since we last gathered here. Uh, that's maybe a good point, Leo. Um, let's talk with these guys. Hello, Arthur. Mark thee how the winds blow today. This joyous occasion shall be our last day before the snowfall. And Jag? I'm only sticking around for a little while. Then I need to get back to my post at the Mountain Domain. And Robin? Have fun today! Robin seems like a very sweet cat. <laughs> um, Delta? The Autumn Festival is my favorite every year. There's something special about how the temple looks in fall. And hello, Crampy. Having fun is good for your health. Take it for me, I'm a doctor. And is anybody over here? I think... Um, here's some. Hello, Pebble. Make sure you don't leave without playing some of the games. They're the best part of the festival. And Elisa is here. Make sure you don't leave without a prize. There's plenty to win. And Luna. Did you need something? Luna's still very shy, all. And uh, let's talk to Slip. Slip is over here. Savannah's down there. Autumn is a lovely time for a celebration. Not too hot and not too cold. And what about Oracle? Strange are the ways of the other colonies that gather here. <laughs> We've always uh, found his ways a little strange. <laughs> um, hello, Savannah. I like to trade with other cats who attend the festivities. There's lots of exotic stuff to be found. There really is. And uh, let's chat with everyone else here, too, from our colony. On my way over to the temple, I was tracking a really big mouse. It got away, but I'll grab it on my way back for sure. Aw, good luck with that, Scout. And here's Nil. Are you having fun? Uh, yes, we are. What about Missy? Burr, it's getting cold out. At least we can enjoy fall for one more day. And Mare, we gather once more before the snow falls for fun and festivities. And Sarge, I hope no one tries anything funny today just because it's a festival. Yeah, I sure hope not, too. Alright, what about Lyris? How beautiful the temple looks this fall. Do you not agree? I'm kind of going uh, quickly through these guys because we have a lot of cats to talk to. There's so many. And then way over here by herself is Mossy. Hello, Mossy. I like talking with the cats from the other colonies when we gather at the temple. Sometimes they bring good-smelling plants for me. Aww. So, uh, I think that's everyone here. I think we talked to everyone, and I think we're gonna go see now. We'll chat with Coco and see what the what's in the token uh, shop so we can buy Snake Lily. I don't think we really want that. Glow Potion. It will make your fur shine a bright, luminescent color for one minute. Oh my goodness. We can buy Power Paws, of course. We can buy Pumpkin Decor. Uh, pumpkin Color. And a pet dragonfly? Oh my goodness! I want a pet dragonfly! I might buy a pet dragonfly! Alright, let's participate in some of the games. In the autumn, we have the pumpkin carving competition. We're just about to start round one of three if you'd like to join. Ooh, that sounds like fun! Great, follow me to the festival arena. Oh my goodness, this sounds really fun. So what are we gonna do? Okay, welcome to round one of the autumn pumpkin carving competition. Your challengers today are Lyris and Missy, all cats from our colony this time. <laughs> You are no match for Lyris's graceful skills. Um, why are you even trying to win? Don't you know I'm the best at this game? 
Uh, they are both pretty confident. The goal of the pumpkin carving is to end up with the most finished pumpkins. You'll have one minute to carve as many pumpkins as you can. Each pumpkin requires three steps to carve it fully. You have to press E with good timing to make sure you don't mess up. Oh boy. Uh, I'm probably not going to do very well with this one, am I? Um, and be careful. If you carve a pumpkin incorrectly, you'll have to throw it out and start all over with a new pumpkin. Are you ready? On your mark? Get set? Go! Alright. Oh. Oh no, I'm very bad at these games. Alright. Oh boy. Oh. I missed a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're doing this. Okay. I'm actually managing okay. Alright. Oops, I missed. No! Oh my goodness, I panicked a bit there. And uh, kept missing. No! Oh my goodness, they're doing so much better than me. Okay. We got three. Oops. No! Okay. I can't anticipate. I've got to stop panicking. Alright. No! I'm too slow. I need to be calmer about this, I think. No! <laughs> oh man, you guys. I'm not doing so well. Alright. Um, okay. Oh. Okay, nope. Nope. Alright. I get too impatient. That's my trouble with this. And I don't have very good timing. Oh, and that's the end. Oh, no! They did so well! Dusty won one festival token, but I want a pet dragonfly, and we're not gonna get one this way. Alright, let's talk to Coco. We're gonna join the games again. Oh, man. Okay, I think I'm hopefully getting a bit of a better feel for this. Alright. Welcome to round two of the Autumn Pumpkin Carving Competition. Your challengers today are Lyris and Arthur. You are no match for Lyris' graceful skills. Yeah, we sure weren't last time. Huzzah, an easy challenge. Thy defeat is nigh. Oh no, Arthur! <laughs> He's so exuberant. I really love him, you guys. The goal of the pumpkin carving competition is to end up with the most finished pumpkins. You'll have one minute to carve as many pumpkins as you can. Each pumpkin requires three steps to carve it fully. You'll have to press E with good timing to make sure you don't mess up. And be careful, if you carve a pumpkin incorrectly, you'll have to throw it out and start all over with a new pumpkin. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Alright, here we go. Okay. We got it nice and easy. It's a lot better to have to wait. Nope. It's a lot better to have to wait for it than to mess up. Okay. That last one always kills me. That's a nice easy one though. Alright. Maybe it, it realized that I'm not doing very well and it's giving me the easy ones now. Or not. Oh, yeah, it did it again though. Alright. Alright. No! We messed up again. No cry. Alright, I wonder if you could carry over tokens between the festivals. Maybe I should stop spending all of mine. Oh my goodness, they're doing so well and I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm very bad at this game, you guys. I'm really not good at this game. Alright. Nope. This is... Nope. There we go. Come on. Oh, and that's the end. No, we lost again! So we might not get a pet dragonfly. Aww. Um, let's join the games again. We're gonna try it one more time. Maybe I'll finally get the hang of this. Welcome to round three, the Autumn Pumpkin Carving Competition. Your challenges today are Pebble and Slip. Oh, so they're, um, both... Well, no, one's from Mountain, one's from Mystic. Oh, I didn't realize who we were going up against. Is it too late to back out now? Oh, he's nervous! Go easy on an old cat, won't you? Oh, that's right, Slip is a little bit older, huh? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and try. Alright. Just take it easy, I say as I miss again. I am really not good at this game, am I? You guys are probably screaming at me right now. I just have very poor timing, apparently. My goodness. This is- <laughs> I'm not good at this, I'm so sorry. I'm probably making you guys cringe. I I'm sure I'm making you guys cringe right now. Alright. Let's see. I'm just gonna try and take this really nice and slow. I may- I'm trying to commentate a little bit less because I seem to do better when I'm not trying to talk and play at the same time. Alright. Not alright. Not alright. Wow, I am really bad at this. <laughs> alright. Well, we got one festival token. So, no pet dragonfly this time. Um, what can we buy? We could buy- I'm still gonna buy 
the glow potion, but I think we're gonna save two of them and see if they carry over. So, but I think that's it for this festival and we're gonna go ahead and go back home. Apparently I'm not very good at pumpkin carving, so if we want anything here, we'll have to see if tokens carry over and possibly save up because uh, that might be an easier way of doing things because I'm not good at this game. All right, it's 9 p.m. Let's go ahead, we'll go to sleep and uh, pass the time to morning. Here we go, and it's winter! Oh, Scout is cold, Dusty's cold too, oh! Are the, are the plants actually, no, the plants still grow, so it's very beneficial to have them here. And that gives us some experience as well. We were gonna try and get the Den Warp too. So let's talk with Scout. Hey love, how's my Dusty holding up today? Do you want my extra mouse? I don't need it. Oh, thank you, Scout. Here, it's yours now. I'm gonna actually drop this right here. And so it's gonna be the last, it's gonna just be the one in the last slot, okay. We'll put this away in our special spot for it. And we'll put it in there. And man, Scout has given us a lot of different things. Uh, we're gonna put this glow potion here. And we're going to, what else are we gonna do? We were gonna, we'll give Scout a rabbit because we happen to have one on hand. So let's see. Hey love, how's my Dusty holding up today? Oh wow, I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Dusty. Aww. You're really sweet, Scout. Aww. Uh, let's head outside, I think, and we're going to try and sell some of this off to Ember, some of the stuff we have. And uh, we're going to visit the shop, we're gonna sell items, and then we'll go around chatting with uh, some of the cats, I think. We have lots and lots of doves to sell, which is very good because we need, um... We need to uh, earn enough to get the den upgrade when we have enough now, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, purchase that and get that started here. And to get some nice room because at some point I hope we have kittens. <laughs> so let's see, here is Mulby's bell. Summon Mulby with the bell. Yes, summon Mulby. And we want to visit the upgrade shop. We're gonna build the right spare room, I guess. All right, and uh, thank you, Mulby. So he's gonna be working off that way. And we're gonna go ahead and hunt, and I wanna see how much skill we have. So we have 92, we're almost there, and we're gonna end up replacing this fourth skill with the teleport to back to the den one, the warp back to den. And we'll head out and try and finish that up, perhaps, today before we have to wrap up. Oh, here are some berries. Berries are always nice. And there's another dove, too. Doves are good because they're worth a lot. So let's see if we can catch this one. Do we get it? We got it. There's another something up here. And um, it's a mouse, okay. And we should be getting there. No, don't run away from me, mouse. Mousey mouse. We got it, okay. And are we there yet? 98, so we need to catch like one or two more things, I think. And there's another mouse. All right, it's coming towards us. We get it, we got it. Was that enough? Nope, they only get one experience per prey, it seems. All right, the dove did stop. So let's catch it if we can. No, and we can't. Never mind that. There does seem to be less prey during winter because I only see one dot at a time now as opposed to two. So perhaps there is a little less prey during winter. I'm not very good at this today. Why Why am I so bad at this game today? Of course it's the day the update comes out when I'm all excited to play it is the day when I'm failing miserably. So let's see over here. Here is, all right, we got the mouse. So that should be enough to purchase. We wanted, bum -ba -da, we wanted, uh, return home. So this will enable us to travel much further because we can always warp back to the den. So we don't have to worry about being out late. We can just pop right back home whenever we need to. So that'll be really, really nice. And I'm gonna actually bring, or I'm gonna try and catch this mouse and I'm gonna go back and equip that skill now so we have it when we need it. And we probably try and work on unlocking some of the rest of it as well. Uh, but I really can't wait until we have uh, actually have kittens. So let's just chat with everyone too. Dusty, I'm so glad you stopped by to see me. Shall we spend time together? Hey Dusty, I got this gray squirrel for you. Hope you like it. Aw, thank you Sarge. We'll put that away and we'll save it for a snack for when we need one. And Missy. Dusty, what's up? Wanna hang out today? What does the snow remind you of? It always reminds me... Of me! Pure, bright, and unique. Yep, that's Missy. 
okay then, uh, sure, you, you can, you can, <laughs> no. Uh, she is unique and, um, a little bit snotty sometimes, but, um, still, still a relatively nice cat. She has, a she has gotten a lot nicer as we've gotten to know her. How's my bestest friend doing today? What can I do for you, Dusty? Uh, let's talk. Do you see this stuff falling from the sky? I don't like it. Seriously, I do not like it one bit. All it does is freeze my paws and cool my fur. What I wouldn't do to have another day of summer right about now. We do have a spring shower, but I don't think that would, uh, that would help. Uh, hello, Doc. Good to see you, Dusty. Here to chat for a bit? I've got time for you. My favorite color is orange and has been for some time now. When I was little, I liked how bright and powerful it was, but now that I'm old, I've got another reason. The bloom of the marigold is a vibrant shade of orange, and it's from the marigold that I make a lot of my healing remedies. So I've made a new association for orange in my mind. Caring for wounded cats and making them feel better? There ain't nothing more beautiful than that. Aw, Doc, you're a sweet cat, really. And hello, Mayor. Great to see you, Dusty. You always lift my spirits. I got you this toad as a present. What do you think? Have a great day, Dusty. Aw, that doesn't sound like a very good present, but to a cat, I mean, it's a nice little snack. So, uh, it doesn't, to us humans, though, sound probably like a, like a very nice present. Oh, there's Lyris. Lyris came into camp. I was just gonna go looking for you and say hi. Um, and, uh, we will visit for a bit, I think. Here, let's come over here and we'll talk. Dusty, you are as reliable as the sun that sets each night across the western skies. What can I do for you? Hey, Dusty, I found this licorice root and immediately thought of you. Here you go, take it with you. Aw, thank you, Lyris. Glad to have a friend like you that I can unload my junk on. Haha. <laughs> Aw, well, thank you, Lyris. Uh, we have lots of stuff now that we, we will hang on to. And... We're gonna, we were gonna, we were gonna apply the skill. Maybe we'll go hunt just a little bit and, um, finish up the, so that we can pass the time through the night here, uh, cause that's always a nice thing to be able to do at the end of the day. And we'll see if we can catch any prey, uh, while we're out here. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. I see it now. I could not see the squirrel for a minute there. Aw, oh, darn, it got away. They kind of just disappear like that. Oh yeah, and the, it's icy out now, so uh, we don't have to worry about swimming at least, even though our swimming skill is up all the way, so it's not like we really have to worry about it anyway. All right, no, no. We might be able to catch this guy if we can cut him off. No, okay, darn. Um, I think we're gonna head back now because it is almost five and that is the, uh, the cutoff for being able to sleep through the night there. So we'll head back, um, we will add our skill, and then we'll, we'll go rest, and uh, we'll wrap up the episode. So let's apply our active skills. Let's, um, I'm gonna unequip it, and we're gonna equip this skill. So now we can return home whenever we want to. And we'll go ahead and sleep through the night. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.